Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. My name is Neil. Thanks for joining me today. We're looking at NFL themed helmets. Super pumped about this one. Football is in full swing right now. We're not talking standings, predictions, anything like that. We're talking, we're having some fun here, okay? We're talking designs. We're looking at team branding with some concepts. I don't know what these look like. This is gonna be a reaction video. You and I are gonna to react together for these helmets. And uh, Tech Matt is the designer. We've looked at his work in the past. Uh, I think most of his work from the past has been NHL related, but today is NFL related. I love it. And by the way, you can get this template at sportstemplates.net. If you're feeling a little bit creative and you wanna come up with your own designs, you can use code post to post Save yourself 10%, get a template. It doesn't have to be this football helmet template. It could be any other of the 60 plus templates on the site. There are even free ones on there. So if you're feeling creative and you wanna come up with your designs, please design an entire set from an entire league. It doesn't have to be NFL, could be NHL, could be NBA, it doesn't really matter. Send them in, I would love to react review or rank them and just have some fun looking at your designs. All right, first up, we've got ARI. I'm pretty sure that's Arizona. Let's go. Arizona, what you got for me? Tech Matt, you got a doozy. What a great start here. Oh my goodness, this is an amazing helmet. There's so much to dissect. Colors, amazing. Uh, imagery, uh, we're used to this. It's amazing. They have great branding. The logo is very interestingly placed. If you're aware of the Arizona State flag, you know that the top of this helmet is replicating the top of the flag. You know that the bottom of this helmet, the blue, is replicating the bottom of the flag. What's in the middle of the flag? Well, I think on the flag it's, I'm pretty sure it's not a sun, I think it's a star. I'm Canadian, but I love flags. I'm pretty sure it's a star. Well, it's not here. In place of it is the actual Cardinals logo. What a great decision here by TechMat. What a great start. This is an awesome helmet. I love this. Uh, you got you got some, like I, look, I said, I, I love flags. You got some flag designs in here. <sighs> Might be hard to beat this one. <laughs> this one is awesome. All right, let's move on. We got the Atlanta Falcons. Okay, very simplistic design. I can see a bit of a black, black and white stripe going up uh, the top there. Uh, logo on the side. The rest of the helmet's just kind of, you know, it's just red. Okay, we've got the cage is, is black and stuff, but the rest of the helmet is red. Just a very simple, very subtle design. Does not look bad. Let's move on. Okay, Baltimore Ravens, very, very black and deep helmet, like just ready for war. Uh, yeah, I like this one. It's again, very simple, nothing going on other than the logo on the side there. Gets lost a little bit, I think, in the darkness, uh, the, 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 such a deep, stark, just empty black. The logo just is also so kind of dark itself. I would like to see, I don't know how you'd fix that. Uh, I think black is the right decision for the helmet. It looks cool. It looks great accented in the gold and in the purple, but the logo does get a little bit lost for me. What's next? The Buffalo Bills. Man, I think this is a perfect design. I think I like the Arizona one more, but if I think Buffalo Bills, if I think they're a branding, I think he nailed it. Like as far as design here, the logo looks so good on there. Uh, the colors look great together. He's nailed those. White uh, cage looks good. Uh, stripe above there. Yeah, I mean, this is exactly probably what it should be. It looks uh, looks awesome. Moving on to the next one, the Carolina Panthers. Okay, so the Carolina Panthers have what, uh, This maybe this is gonna be a controversial opinion here, so I'm just gonna need to resize this on my screen really quickly. The Carolina Panthers have what I think is maybe the prettiest and best shade of blue in any professional sports team. Doesn't matter if it's the NFL, NHL, NBA, MLS, uh, uh, what else am I thinking, MLB. Uh, like, the, just a beautiful shade of like, it's a, it's a sky blue, but it's a very like saturated sky blue. I think it's perfect, it contrasts so nicely with the black. It looks awesome in this helmet. And I love the fact that you get that panther just like creeping through the darkness of the helmet. That's awesome. You, could, you almost don't see him at, at the beginning. It almost looks like maybe the holes in the helmet or something, but then boom, you catch him. It looks awesome. That was a bad snap. That was bad. That was okay. Redemption. Next, the Chicago Bears. Again, a very simplistic design here. I think Arizona is so, still so far my favorite. Uh, I mean, the, the, these shades are, are amazing together as well. Uh, that specific shade of orange and blue together, they just look so, so good. So I don't think it was the wrong decision going with a simplistic design here, but maybe maybe thinking that uh, I wanna see a little bit more from these helmets. Next is Cincinnati Bengals. Now, okay, this is a good segue because when I think of brands maybe being a little bit risky, being a little bit bold in your face, the Bengals are one that I kind of think of in the NFL because I think we've seen them do kind of a, a tiger a pattern helmet in the past. I think we've seen that on their jerseys and stuff, um, on their, I think, did they have them on their pants? I can't remember if they did. But anyways, they, you know, they love that design. 
And to not see it in this helmet and to only see the Bengal or the Tiger on there, it's a it's a bit of a letdown in a, in a way. I think uh, I think I would like to see that kind of bold branding from them to see the helmet all with that Tiger or that Bengal stripe striping pattern on there. So yeah, maybe maybe my least favorite so far, just because I have maybe higher expectations for the Bengal, Bengals design here. Next is the Cleveland Browns. Okay, this was an interesting one to follow up because the Cleveland Browns have the opposite of what the Bengals do. The Browns have the most like mundane, boring, just like almost non-existent brand ever. Their logo is whatever. I don't know what is on the side here. I fully admit that I don't follow uh, football that, uh, you know, that religiously compared to hockey. I've never seen that logo on there. I don't know what that's from. I'm, obviously, it's maybe part of their branding. I'm just not sure. Maybe it's new. I don't know, but I've not seen it. And so it's just interesting to see a logo I've never seen for this team and also uh, a gradient, which is, you know, two things I just was not expecting to see for the Browns. <laughs> Basically, I was just expecting to see a brown helmet with just a generic whatever logo. So it's an interesting helmet. It actually looks not bad. Uh, that guy is super creepy, though. Like, the more that I look at him, the more he really really creeps me out it's like uh, it's like he's looking down at me like I'm, i've just woke up from a dream and he's standing on my chest looking down at me because he's this little i don't i don't like it he's, creep, he's creeping me out next up the dallas cowboys the dallas cowboys are very traditional very old team so i think going with a, a very simplistic design like this just with the kind of logo on the side is is definitely okay here in this in this instance okay next up we got the denver broncos another traditional team logo coming through the d there a little bit of uh, playfulness a little bit of depth that's nice i was gonna say i think i'd maybe like to see a bit of a drop shadow or something on the d or coming off the d onto the uh, bronco just to give a little bit more of depth depth perception it's still a little bit two dimensional um, on there. Yeah, I'd like to see maybe just a little bit more interaction between uh, light. Okay, the Detroit Lions. Well, speaking of pretty blues, I mean, the, the, the Panthers blue and the Lions blue are very close. So maybe you'll have to, they'll have to share the top place here. But I love the colorization here. It looks great. It complements so nicely with the black. Looks good. Okay, next, the Green Bay Packers. This is essentially the perfect uh, helmet. Uh, the colors look great together. So iconic. Such an iconic brand. You've got the state outline behind the logo as well. That looks really cool. Yeah, this one looks awesome. I, I really like these these helmets, Tech Matt. You've, you've nailed them. The Houston Texans. Wow. What a clean helmet. Something I didn't notice at, the, at first glance was the Texas state flag at the back. So again, with the flags, thumbs up there. Uh, this looks like it's so clean. This looks awesome. I, I really do like this one a lot. Just different kind of than the others. It's very simplistic in the sense that there's just a solid color on the helmet and a logo thrown on the side. Uh, obviously a little bit of a flag there in the background, but it's very simplistic. But changing it as white as the primary color, just, I don't know, it almost elevates it in a way. Very clean. Okay, next. Okay, well, speaking of white, we've got the Indianapolis Colts. And I think that looks good as well. I mean, dang, that looks, uh, that actually looks really good. I, I like, uh, I like how clean this is. I mean, they're, they're hitting the ground though. They're getting like, this helmet's getting dirty. This helmet's going to be green. It's going to be brown. It's going to be all shades of colors, uh, after a game. So maybe white's not the right decision, but I mean, just pristine and new. That looks pretty good. Next is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, again, another really, really pretty, beautiful color here in that teal or turquoise, whoever you want to classify that as. And it almost looks like that Jaguar is trying to eat that that strap. It's going right in his mouth. So maybe kind of adjust his uh, placement there on the helmet. But this one looks good. Next, the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, I think of all the white helmets, this might be this might be the best. I mean, that Texans one was pretty good. But this one is just, I don't know, just the, the red and the yellow or the gold looks so good on there. I love the state outline on there as well. Cool stuff. Next to the Los Angeles Chargers. Wow, what a great color combination. Just looks so beautiful. You can see some texture in that striping coming up the middle there as well. Really hard to see, but it is definitely there. Uh, logo on the side looks pretty good. Looks like a, you know, a shield to go into war. I love that. That's on, that's on there. That one's awesome. Next, the Los Angeles Rams. Whoa. I don't know if that's intentional rigidness on the horn. I guess it maybe is. I guess their horns are a little bit jagged but it almost looks like pixelization or something, or it just, I don't know, it looks a little, maybe a little bit too rigid or something, but obviously that design on there, it's not just, that's not a C, it's not a weird G, that's the, you know, the horns coming around, and that would be on the other side as well, so I think that's a really cool thing to incorporate into the helmet. Great, uh, great foresight here, Tech Matt. Next, the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, I mean, Raiders are, their brand is kind of like the Browns. It's very subdued, it's very simple, not a lot of colorization. There's no punch of color, no vibrancy hitting you in the face. We've got some black, we've got some gray, and we've got some white. 
you know, there's, there's not really much going on as far as colorization. But this is exactly what it should be. I wouldn't expect anything different from here. Uh, I think Tech Mac nailed the branding. Next, the Miami Dolphins. Oh my goodness. Look at the orange. Look at the water. Look at the waves. This is this has a whole scene on it. I will say that the scene looks out of place just because it's so just it just ends so starkly at the top. But I like I like that it's on there. It's a little bit gimmicky, but I like that it's on there. I wish there was more of a gradient that led up into the orange, maybe more so than uh, just that kind of stark line. But really cool. I like this because just because it's so different than the others. There was a lot of really simplistic designs throughout this, but this one gives a little bit of personality, a little bit of life. Next, the Minnesota Vikings. Okay, so I'm a, I am a Vikings fan. You can see my hat here. And uh, I'm probably going to like this regardless of what he did. But I think he did make the right call here. He put the, you know, put those horns, those Viking horns on there. That looks great. Uh, great placement. Perfectly aligned. Uh, white as the primary is a bit of a shock. I was, I was picturing purple. I thought it was going to happen. He surprised me with the white. It doesn't look bad. It just looks... Um, Unexpected, I guess is the best way to put this. I, I can't put this first because it's my favorite team. I'm, I'm not biased. I am objective. Not going to be first, but I do like this. Okay, we've got the New England Patriots. Now, I am not a huge Patriots fan. I used to be growing up when I was first getting into the NFL, first, first getting into football, massive Patriots fan um, for about maybe three to four years. So it was first three to four years. And then I realized, wait, I like the same team that everyone else around me likes because I live in New Brunswick, Canada. I'm very close to New England and stuff. And there's just so many Patriot fans here. And, then I, and I just kind of realized, like, I don't think I really want to be a Patriots fan anymore. I want to be in the minority. I want to be the underdog or something. I want to choose a different team. And I looked around the league and I looked at colors and I saw, okay, well, what team doesn't have red? What team doesn't have blue? What team just kind of stands out away from the Patriots? A couple teams in mind, but then I landed on the Vikings. I'm like, man, the Vikings are a cool brand in general. So I'm going to be a Vikings fan. And then ever since then, ever since like the early 2000s or mid 2000s, I guess, I've been a Vikings fan. But um, I still appreciate, even though I'm not a Patriots fan, I still appreciate their branding. I appreciate how amazing the franchise has been in the past 20 years. Uh, I, I love the colors, even though I've, no, I've gone purple and, and yellow here, purple and gold. I still appreciate the blue and the red together. They look so good. And I think this helmet looks good as well. Uh, that it doesn't look like a white helmet. It almost looks like a very off-white or a very, like a very, very light gray or silver helmet, which is a great decision. I think having the old school guy on there is is pretty cool as well. Sorry, I got off on a little bit of a tangent there. New Orleans Saints, <sighs> not my favorite color. And I've said this in previous NFL themed videos. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Saints branding. Um, I love the location uh, of where they are. New Orleans is, or New Orleans, however you want to say it, is an amazing city, amazing location. It's where the Mississippi River exits. It's it's such a hub of the United States when it comes to shipping and stuff. But just, it just, I don't know. There's just, it's like muddy. It's like baby poopish. I just, I don't love the color. Not that the helmet's not bad. It's just, just not my favorite. Moving on, the New York Giants. Wow, we got some skyline in there. We've got Buddy throwing the ball. Great colorization. This one's got a bit of a scene, a bit of personality to it. I do like this one. Next is the New York Jets. Okay, I like aviation. Uh, you know, I got a Spitfire on my arm here. I love, love aviation. You're gonna throw a jet on a helmet, regardless if the team's called the Jets or not. You're putting a jet on the helmet. I'm on board. Okay, so I, I like this one a lot. This one, this one looks pretty good. Oh, geez, sorry, I had his knees. Okay, next up, Philadelphia Eagles. Boom, right back. That's all you need. You just need a little bit of those wings coming back. That's that's I'm okay with this. That's kind of all. That's kind of all this really needs to be. So I'm a, I'm aboard for this one. Next, the oh my goodness, the Pittsburgh Steelers with like a dark iron dwarf in the background. Wow, blacksmith and a uh, looks like a sword or something. I mean, Pittsburgh is a steel city, so it makes sense. It's very different than everything else that we've seen so far. Uh, the the Arizona one was playful. The Dolphins one was very playful much like this one. But this one, I think, does a great job in the sense where it's there's such a gradient, there's a, like a radial gradient coming in, and it's it's there's no stark lines up top, there's none on the side. It just kind of fits in nicely with the darkness of, of the helmet, and not only darkness, but colorization, the color relationship as well. There's yellow, obviously, in the Pittsburgh Steelers brand, so to have the primary color of this scene kind of be the yellow and the orange and the, and the reddish and stuff for the fire and the, you know, that relationship is, is great here. So it's, I don't, I don't think it's realistic, but I do like it. It's got a lot of personality. Next, the Seattle Seahawks. I mean, yeah, this is, I mean, this looks good. Uh, nothing to complain about here. I think, uh, I think this one looks good. Next up, the San Francisco 49ers. And wow, Buddy on there is, I don't know what he's doing, but he's having a time. Another one of those teams that, uh, you know, they don't really have my favorite color combination, don't have my favorite branding, 
but I think their uniforms, even though I don't like the colors, their uniforms always kind of look good. Their hats look good, their shirts look good, their sweaters look good. So, I mean, yeah, this looks this looks on point. Next, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This looks good in white. This looks really good in white. I love, love their logo, their branding, their stylization of what they do with that. It's very modern, it's very aggressive, uh, worn, torn, weathered flag, awesome. This is a great helmet, I really like this one. Next, the Tennessee Titans. Beautiful blue. Again, NFL has some amazing blues in their lineup throughout their teams. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's just a logo on there with a beautiful blue. Looks good. The Washington Commanders. I'll never get used to it. This is very, this is very strange. Uh, so we've got the state outline there. We've got, uh, or I guess we could say district outline. <laughs> We've got the Washington Monument in the background. It looks like I'm gonna I'm gonna zonk this one just because not not that anything that Tech Matt did, but just because of the branding change. So uh, let's let's go back to my favorite. I, I really like. I'm gonna I'll bring this one back up. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers one. This isn't my favorite, but I love the personality. I love the fact that Tech Matt. Thought outside the box. Took a little bit of a risk with this one. I appreciate when designers do that. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, I think maybe in the Dolphins situation, I'll put that one up on the screen. Maybe it doesn't work, but I love the fact that he did it. I like when designers take risks. Um, and I think my favorite, I think we're going all the way back. I think we're going back to the Arizona Car Cardinals. Just the decision to incorporate the state flag and the, and the, the team branding, the team primary logo on there to kind of take up the space where that star would go on the flag was brilliant. Also, it looks good. Also, it's very unique in this, this whole set. So I think round of applause for this Arizona one, some other ones as well, but Arizona is going to be my favorite here. Uh, trust me, I want to choose the Vikings, but objectively, I think Arizona is the best one. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more NFL content on the channel, please let me know down below in the comment section. What do you want to see me do? Do you want to see me rank some, uh, you know, some stadiums, some jerseys? Let me know. Okay. Let me know. I got, they got some secondary logos as well. Maybe I could dip into that. Look at their team secondary logos, kind of rank those. Let me know down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see on the channel. And obviously let me know what your favorite helmet that you saw in this video was. Was it Arizona? Was it the Dolphins? Was it Pittsburgh? Let me know. We'd love to hear from you. Read all the comments. Hope you guys are having a great day. Please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you are not subscribed already, hit the like button. If you like this video, it definitely helps the channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.